Hey guys, my name is Sadman and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be creating a website under 10 minutes and I'll show you how easy it is to create a website. I'll be dividing this video into three parts. Uh, first part, we're going to be uh, preparing the uh, ingredient. Second part, we're going to be choosing a design. And the third part, we're going to be creating a page. So let's begin. Okay, the first part is in fact uh, preparing the ingredient. So what are the ingredients that we need to create a website? Well, there are two main ingredients that we need to create any website. Uh, the first one is uh, uh, we need a domain name. The second one is we need a hosting uh, plan. First one, domain name. What is a domain name? Well, domain name simply is just an address of your website. As we know, we all have an address for our house. Yeah. And same goes for our website. We need to have an address so that people can type in the specific address to find your uh, website. An example of this can be uh, facebook.com youtube.com um, google.com or uh, uh, yeah bbc.co.uk amazon.co.uk these are all example of um, domain name yeah now uh, the second thing we need is again a hosting uh, plan hosting provider the hosting plan is uh, basically just a space where you put all of your files online for your website say like uh, all of your pages all of your uh, images graphics a video and everything online uh, and as you know you can't uh, store your files for your website on your computer on your local machine we know uh, because uh, people can uh, view your website online so uh, all the files need to be somewhere online so that people uh, can see it anytime yeah without having you to send them <laughs> the file so therefore we need a hosting plan again without the hosting plan you can uh, people can't visit your website but they can't see anything pretty much it's gonna be all blank so both of these are very important without uh, one of these it will not function a website now we're going to be purchasing the domain name okay uh, which is the best website to purchase a domain name the best website that i personally use for myself and for my clients is namechip so uh this is the one namechip and i personally purchase all of my domain name from uh, this specific website so in fact we're going to be looking for a domain name say like sadman Com. let's see if this one is available okay in fact as you can see this one is available and uh, this is a premium domain name so it got the premium uh, tag here and premium means that it has uh, two things one it has less uh, digit yeah less um, letters or numbers whatever second thing means that this one is easy to remember and easy to type therefore uh, it's called premium so what uh, the, those domain names that will have two characteristics one is a uh, less um, digit and the second one is uh, easy to recall those are going to be labeled as premium so uh yeah this is a very very good investing to buy a premium domain name because you can sell it at a way higher price later on okay now i'm not going to be adding this to the card because this is yeah um, too expensive but i'm going to be adding something else say like okay um dot co dot uk with ascension.co.uk okay and let's see yeah this one is available as well and this is for way cheaper this goes for five pound eleven pence per year okay i'm gonna be adding to the card view item now as you can see one thing here we got the year registration so what is this okay you can't purchase a domain name for an eternity you can't purchase for your entire life but every domain name has to be renewed at some point so here as you can see it has uh, from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years. So you can purchase this specific domain name for up to 10 years for yourself. So you'll be the uh, legal um, ownership. So you'll have the ownership for this domain name. But after this period you have to either renew your domain name or you lose your ownership. So yeah. Okay. We're going to be uh, clicking on checkout here. Okay. Now. As you can see, the auto renew is automatically um, enabled. What this means is that before the uh, expire period, it will automatically renew by itself, so you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, you can either enable this or disable this. It's up to you. I normally do enable those domain names which are for myself because I, of course, will not renew it, uh, yeah, itself. But those who are not for myself or my client, then I would um, enable this <laughs> uh, definitely now um yeah apart from this everything else is just fine of course you can choose the length of your do of this domain name you want it so you want it for one year for two year three year whatever you can choose the length from here 
and after that you have to renew it and if you scroll down you will see a bunch of options like uh, web hosting ssl wordpress hosting vpn and professional email just don't choose any because you'll get all of this for free using siteground which is our web hosting yeah okay so in this page all you have to do you have to just uh make sure the the length so uh the length you want for this domain name and whether you want to auto renew it this two things that's all once you've done this too then I just click on confirm order and just check out using your paypal or debit card or credit card yeah so once you've done uh, everything you'll uh yeah you'll be able to log into uh, the dashboard so pretty much over here your account and you will see your domain name over there so this is submanke.com this is the domain name that i have as you can see and from here you have all the control for this specific domain name so as you can see i, I can see the length i can see whether um, yeah it is protected using WhoisGuard. so WhoisGuard means that it is hidden from the who is uh, uh, database so pretty much uh, nobody can see uh, who i am and uh, my details that's very important if you have the opportunity then definitely um, get the WhoisGuard. but just forget about it for now then i can of course change my name server and all the stuff yeah I'll, I'll show you i'll show you okay then the next thing we have to purchase our hosting plan the second thing okay so the hosting the best hosting uh provider that i recommend is a uh, site crown and it's not myself is also wordpress themselves recommend site crown uh, as well so very very reliable as you can imagine i have used many other hosting provider but yeah, again i always come back to sitecoin because this is the ultimate easy uh, most user-friendly better hosting provider that you can uh, see out there so definitely sideground and as you can see here they have three plan here so they have startup plan grow big plan and go jig plan okay forget about the go jig because this is unnecessary so just just leave this aside these two the key difference here is that with the startup plan you can host only one website yeah and with the grow big plan you can host uh, unlimited website this is the key difference just forget about the dig space and the monthly visitors and other stuff because these are pretty much same with the uh, story doesn't make uh, any different okay so um i assume that you want to start so you want to start with just one website so you're just going to be choosing the startup plan and one thing to uh, remember here you can always upgrade later on uh, just by paying the difference in fee so uh, they will not charge you any extra fee for it for the for the, for the upgrade definitely should be starting with the startup plan and that's what i did when i started to uh, learn um, web design yeah so just choose this plan and click on get plan and then check out okay so one thing you have to first purchase your uh, domain name and then purchase the web hosting you can't do the other way around yeah make sure you first purchase the domain name and secondly your web hosting okay once you have a uh, checkout uh, on siteground you'll be able to access your account as you can see here and from here all we have to do we have to just connect with uh, our domain name with the, the web hosting so that we can actually make uh, everything running yeah so over here we're going to be clicking on existing domain from here you have to choose the domain that you have uh, just bought from namecheap so whatever the domain name you have uh, you've got just purchased you have to just insert it here and click on continue um, as i am having uh, issues with right now with my domain name so i'm just going to be using a temporary domain name so temporary domain name is pretty much similar works pretty much the same way but the key difference here is that uh, this is the free domain name that they give you for free yeah as you can see sadman uh, k6 sg uh, hyphen host.com this is the free one but it's the same process pretty much i'm going to be clicking on continue and on the second step i'm going to choose in start a new website the first option and then i'm going to be choosing wordpress over here you have to insert uh, your email address and password that you will need later on to access your website so make sure you choose a memorable one so your own uh, email address like this one and then also password has to be something that you can uh, record later on so i'm going to be choosing an easy password yeah okay i'm going to copy in case if i forget <laughs> yeah and then click on continue okay um yeah so over here just click on finish and you don't need to uh, purchase the this sg uh, site scanner is useless so click on finish okay here it can take up to five minutes although they are saying that it will take two minutes but it can take even longer than that just don't worry about it just keep waiting now before seeing this screen as we are using a domain name from a different uh, domain uh, register from namecheap 
you'll see pretty much another screen with uh, two um, details very important and these are your DNS or domain name server as you can see this uh, you'll see another screen that will say uh, your um, two domain uh, name servers the first one and the second one all you have to do if you just copy pressing ctrl C and you have to paste the first domain uh, name server over here yeah over here and make sure if custom DNS is not selected selected custom DNS and uh, from here you have to just paste the first one and same goes for the second one so you'll see another uh, domain name server DNS just paste over here the second one and once you're done with that just click uh, confirm here so if I just cancel this out you have just click confirm like this once you've done that that's all and uh, it will take maximum to 30 seconds and you'll see the screen and this means that we're all set so let's just view the website now I'm gonna be clicking here on go to site as you can see this is our website it looks very boring and there's nothing uh, going on here over here now this screen is known as front end so pretty much where your user will see and where everything is laid out yeah and in WordPress there's something known as backend well in any web development there's something known as backend and backend is where everything happened pretty much where you upload uh, stuff content and from where you manage your website that's known as backend okay so in order to access that backend we need to be um, going to the uh, search bar here and typing after your domain name forward slash wp uh, iphone admin like that and press enter this is the keyword so uh, uh, that forward slash wp hyphen admin is your uh, keyword to access your uh, backend and this is the screen that you uh, should be getting and uh, the portal practically from here you have to insert the username that you have inserted previously to access uh, once you have uh, created your um, website on site ground so this is my email address that i've inserted and the password was this one and then i'm going to click on login okay so this is the screen that you will be getting once you've done so from here they will give you a um, wizard to start uh, to get started with the wordpress but we don't need to use any wizard i'm going to click on exit this is the dashboard that you're supposed to get and uh, it looks very t intimidating but it's fine it's, it's very very user friendly now the first part is done we have successfully uh, purchased our domain name purchased the hosting we have connected using dns i haven't connected but i show you how to connect and uh, uh yeah and we know how to access the backend from where we can make any customization so now we can start with step two choose a design so um as you can see currently this is what our website looks like i'm gonna just close this tab because we don't need and i'm gonna be changing this uh whole page to something different okay i'm gonna uh, hover over appearance over here on the uh, left side appearance and click on themes guys what is a theme well theme is just a design a layout of a website yeah it's nothing else you can pretty much create your own uh, theme if you want to but as they have already created theme for us for free so why not use them <laughs> yeah so definitely we should be using those free stuff that they provide and they are way better let me just uh, install one so i'm gonna be clicking here on add new from here you can see all bunch of featured theme well there are just 15 theme but if you go on popular popular you'll see uh, about 4000 theme yeah plenty of theme here and there is a theme for everything pretty much yeah in this case i'm going to be installing a theme called astra so this is the theme that i'm going to be installing so i'm going to be clicking on install and then i'm going to be also activating once we've done that i'm just going to click on uh, get started okay and i'm going to be activating uh, the demos from here i'm going to choose elemento Yes, Elementor is a special plugin. Well, what is a plugin? So plugin is just a fancy way of saying add-on. And what a plugin allows you to do, it just gives you some functionality on your website. So as you can see here, uh, we've got a whole bunch of demos. As you can see, there are plenty of demos. But I'm gonna be installing a, a specific one. So I'm gonna be going here and looking for the free one. So what are the free demos here? As you can see now, these are all free demo that they are giving you for free pretty much. You don't have to pay a single penny to use them. And these are all created by professional web designer. So very, very um, well laid out. Yeah, I'm going to be choosing a specific one like this barbecue restaurant. 
So let's just try to import uh, this demo. Let's just try to use this demo. Okay, from here, click on import uh, import complete site. And then I'm going to be clicking here on delete previously imported site and import. So now it has imported the uh, demo. If we just close this and uh, go to the dashboard. Okay. If I go back to my uh, front end here and if I just refresh it, look at this. Voila, everything is now changed. So as you can see now, it looks way better. So we have a, a restaurant demo. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, these are different sections different dishes okay it looks way better now and all these uh, demo are definitely responsive so you can uh, look great on any devices so if I just shrink it like this yeah so this is what it looks on a mobile and also you can, you can see here that it has created a button from here we can access the menu as normal and uh, as you can see we on a desktop we have a, a video playing on the background but on a mobile we have a, a a static image and this is what it looks in a tablet yeah and this is again what it looks on a, a normal computer we are almost done with the second part guys the final thing to do here we have to just customize uh, some text here and buttons and uh, yeah so let's begin over here on this bar we have an option here that says edit with elementor i'm going to be clicking here now uh, as you can see here it has uh, split my screen to two parts so on the right side, I can see my actual uh, website. On the left side, I have some functionality uh, yeah, that I can pretty much uh, apply to my website. Okay, so I'm going to be changing the text here that says best in Richmond VA. I'm going to be changing to um, best in London. Okay, uh, and then there you go. And also I can change some um, text here so this large um, heading I'm gonna change to um, donut kebab is this how you spell it donut kebab yeah I think so yeah <laughs> donut kebab I can also change the button here and the action so um, the, the text here I'll change to um, book book now and also I'll link it a separate page so I'll link it to google.com okay so as you can see these are all attribute so these are pretty much um, thing that you can do with the uh, specific elements yeah so all of these are known as element and these are all attribute referred to this specific element I can change the button color the button size and everything so pretty much you have a whole lots of um, attributes for a specific uh, element over here and also I can change the image over here so like I wanna uh, copy this image over here let's see how we can do that if I just go here and I can just uh, choose the image I can import uh, my image from my computer or I can choose image that are already on a WordPress website so I'm gonna go for something like this which was the next image and there you go I changed my image okay we are done with part two now part three we're going to be creating a page so i'm going to be updating here and that's all we have updated i can just close this page and now in order to create a page we need to be going to page here and I click on add new from here i'm going to be creating a page i'm going to call it uh, contact us publish publish all done now let's just view the page uh, view page from here we're going to be creating the contact us page using our page builder uh, elementor so there you go click on elementor and this should again uh, give you this sort of structure on the right side you can see your uh, screen that you're working on the page on the left side you can see um, all those um, elements that you can drag and drop on your page you can see one thing here that uh, the top part and the bottom part so the top part also known as um, header the bottom part also known as footer will not change because these are given you by the uh, theme so they will stay constant they will not change what will change is the middle part this is where you create all the middle part uh, for your website yeah so now i can uh, pretty much drag and drop everything from uh, um, all the elements on my uh, screen here so i'm going to be doing in fact uh, an image so let me just try to drag and drop an image here 
I'm gonna be changing the size to a thumbnail and I'm gonna be uh, assigning a picture say like this insert media there you go as you can see I have inserted a first picture yeah also I can insert a text I can go back here and insert a header and just drag and drop here and I can call restaurant In London there you go like this I can choose the alignment and everything pretty much about the text like this there you go as you can see so this is one way to do so pretty much just drag uh, your elements over here and uh, yeah that's how you create a page other way to do is as you can see here we have three buttons so the first button allows you to structure your uh, section so this box will be divided into how many parts so you can choose the um, structure here you can choose in two part three part or part like this as you can see it has created a section from here you can just add uh, stuff that you want so elements that you want in each of them section the second button allows you to import template from your element uh, a page builder so if I just click in I can pretty much import uh, pages from Elementor as you can see we have a home page we have a landing page uh, yeah other services page and everything we can also import blocks so we can import a specific block in our page like uh, this block this block and we have a whole bunch of blocks and we can also import our own template so say like we have created a template previously then we can just import it here yeah and this is what I normally do I pretty much spend a lot of time on creating one specific part of the uh, website and then I use it over and over again for my clients and yeah so very convenient the template section then we have uh, this button which is specifically for our theme uh, yeah theme so as we are using Astra theme, we have an uh, option here, we can import any Astra uh, theme uh, demo template. So as you can see, we can import the whole page or we can also import blocks, yeah? and there are plenty of good blocks. So I'm going to be importing contact us page, but specifically for our website, so I'm going to be choosing, uh, looking for our website here, and uh, over here I'm going to be uh, choosing select the free one. If I just scroll down okay more there you go barbecue restaurant from here I can choose which uh, page to import so I can import the contact us page and click on import template and there you go we're okay, all done I can just update it okay and there you go you have it <laughs> you have it so you have uh, pretty much all the uh, yeah elements and all the forms and everything that comes with uh, your theme from here you have to just change the text here uh, the background image you want to the background overlay and also uh, your phone number you have to add your phone number here you have to change the map to your own map and of course uh, the opening hours and a coupon code if you have it and yeah guys that's pretty much it this is how you create a web page within a few seconds yeah i'll see you in the next video guys thanks for watching and goodbye